Hi, this is Chris Ferdinandi from GoMakeThings.com. Whether you're someone who's currently comfortable in jQuery or you're just beginning to learn JavaScript, today I'm gonna to teach you the basics of vanilla JavaScript in about 10 minutes. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna build this really simple accordion script together. When it's all done, you're gonna be able to click a link to open up a content area um, and Clicking, um, you know, clicking a different link will close any open content areas and then open the, the current one. Um, just this really kind of simple um, basic accordion functionality. If you visit the GitHub gist, you can download the files associated with this project. There's two of them. Uh, the first is the completed HTML that has all of the script functionality that we're gonna be building today. So if you wanna follow along or kind of check in on something after the video's done, you can. But the file I really care about is template.html. That's our starting template, and uh, that's where I want you to, um, to begin. So download that, open that up, and if you were to open it in a browser, you're going to see a page that looks a lot like this, where we've got some, um, some basic anchor links, some content that I pulled off of Pirate Ipsum, and clicking on one of these links just kind of jumps you to the, uh, the anchored content. Um, so. Uh, pretty standard stuff. If you were to actually look at the HTML file in a text editor, you see up at the top we've got some really lightweight um, CSS. We're pretty much falling back on default browser styles here. We've got our markup, um, just some anchor links. Every one of them has this accordion toggle class associated with it. Um, each of our content sections has a unique ID and uh, an accordion class so we can hook into those things when we're writing our JavaScript. Um, and other than that, just pretty straightforward. Down at the bottom, we've got a placeholder for our JavaScript. So with that in mind, let's get started. The uh, very first thing that we wanna do is listen for clicks in the browser. Um, now, there's a few different ways you can do this. Uh, we could grab each of our links individually and listen for a click on each one of those, um, but that becomes really redundant. So what we ultimately wanna do is we wanna listen to every single click that happens in the, uh, in the window here. And the way we're gonna do that is we're going to do document.addEventListener. Um, and so we're gonna listen for um, events on the document element itself. Um, so rather than one of these specific links, we're gonna listen just, just up in the document. Um, we're gonna listen for click events. I'm gonna pass in a, a callback function. So this is the thing we wanna run when a click event happens. And then there's this last argument here of false. Um, that's something called use capture. Uh, you don't have to worry about that today. Just know that in most instances, that's gonna be false. Um, that's a different video for a different time. So uh, to get started, let's actually just kind of see what happens when, um, when we run this. So I'm gonna console log the event. Let's go ahead and reload our page, open up developer tools to the console window. And now you can see every time we click, um, we've got an event happening. And if you were to expand that out, you can see there's a whole bunch of different attributes on here. The most important one being this, this target right here. So that's the, the thing that got clicked. So if I just look at the most recent one, um, let's scroll down to target. You can see it's our, our accordion toggle link right there. Um, so that's good. We can actually hook into that to do some stuff. So um, right now, this is listening to every click in the content. And we really don't care about that. We only care about clicks that happen on our accordion links. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a really simple check here by opening up this if statement. Um, and we're going to say that if the event target, the thing that was clicked, um, has a class, so we're gonna use classList.contains. Uh, classList is a set of APIs. Um, you've got add, remove, contains, and toggle. Um, that is used for class manipulation. So in this case, we want to see if the clicked element has the accordion toggle class on it. Um, and if it does, we're gonna do some stuff. If not, we're gonna quit. So um, what I'm actually gonna do here, um, so we're gonna say only run if it's an accordion toggle. Um, and I'm actually gonna make this a negative. So I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna put a, a bang symbol or the exclamation point in front of this. So I'm gonna say if the clicked item doesn't have the class we want, we're gonna go ahead and return. That's just gonna terminate the function, and nothing else will happen. Um, if it does, we can go ahead and keep doing stuff. So the next thing that we wanna do, um, once we know that we've, we've clicked one of our accordion links, is we actually wanna locate this content area right here um, of the one that was clicked. 
And uh, we know that we're using um, anchor links and they match up with the IDs. So that actually makes stuff really easy. So let's say get the content area. Um, we are going to set a variable um, of content and we're going to um, we're gonna you know find the content on the page. And the way we're gonna do that is we're going to use document query selector. Um, if you're familiar with jQuery, this works more or less just like the, the dollar sign selector in jQuery does, or jQuery selector, um, where you can grab an element by any valid CSS selector. So uh, query selector is gonna grab the first matching element, which is perfect for us because um, IDs are unique. So um, what we can actually do is we can grab the event target hash, um, uh, and that's gonna grab the just the hash off that href URL. Now you could um, you could also grab the href off of that, which would be the URL. Um, the thing about that is even though the actual href here is just a hash, the uh, in JavaScript it's gonna grab all of this other stuff too. Um, so the full URL, which we don't want. We only want the hash because um, we only want the ID. So we're gonna use hash. And um, we're also just gonna make sure that that content area exists. So if no content is found, we can, we can also quit. Um, by this point, we should, um, we should be getting the content every time we click on one of these links. So let's actually verify that that's happening. So if I click, you can see it's grabbing the matching content to go with it. Click and there's the matching content, which is awesome. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. So now we need a way to show and hide this content. Um, and you can do that with JavaScript, but it's really bad for performance to do so and it becomes difficult to maintain. So we're actually gonna use some CSS to make this happen. Um, so what I'm going to say is um, all of our accordions, the content areas, we're going to say display none. And when um, we click on one of our links, um, we'll activate it. Like, there's a bunch of ways you can do that, but I'm gonna add the active class to that element. So when it has the active class on it, uh, it'll have a display of block. Now, this doesn't have to be active, it could be anything you want. I know some people like CSS kind of names like is open or something a little bit more descriptive, but for purposes today, I'm, I'm just gonna go with the active class. And what we wanna have happen here is um, when that click happens, we're gonna take our content area and we're going to use the class list API again. And this time we're gonna use um, a, a function called toggle. The way that works is if a class exists, it removes it. If the class doesn't exist, it adds it. In our case, we wanna to toggle the active class. Um, so uh, we can just say show hide content, which is perfect. And now if I were to reload the page, you can see our content is hidden. And now when I click on it, it expands and then when I click on it again, it collapses, which is awesome. There's one other thing we have to do. Um, we want to prevent the default link behavior from happening. Um, you can't really tell on this page because the content is pretty short, but if this is a bigger page with more content, that anchor link functionality is still firing and it's gonna jump up and down the page every time we click one of these links. And we don't want that to happen. Um, so we're going to prevent the, uh, the default link behavior. Um, so this is awesome. Now we've got this this functional accordion thing. The only problem is um, it's not a real accordion. It's more just a couple of simple expand and collapse sections. As you click on one, um, it, you know, all the others stay open. So the page can get pretty cluttered. So what we should do now is we should figure out a way to hide any open ones and then um, and then just open up the, the one we want. So uh, let's save our work here. Um, let's let's just add a little header here. So we're going to do um, you know basic expand collapse script. So I um, I'm going to take this. I'm going to copy it and comment that out in case you actually do just want the the simple one. Um, it'll be there. And then we're going to add a true accordion functionality just so we know what everything is. So we're still going to listen for clicks in the browser. Um, we're still gonna wanna make sure that content area exists. The only thing we're gonna do differently is we're not going to toggle the active class. We want to um, check if our content area is already open, because if it's already open, we don't want to, um, uh, we don't wanna loop through a whole bunch of stuff. We're gonna wanna close it. Um, so 
let's um let's say if content class list contains active we know it's open we can just close it so class list remove it's going to remove the class active so that's great um, we're now going to remove the active class um, and actually you know what let's uh, let's move our prevent default up a little bit here let's move it up this way and uh, so if that's the case we're going to remove that class and then we're done we can just quit doing what we're doing Otherwise, though, what we actually want to do is we want to get all of the accordions. Um, and any that are open, we're going to want to close. So uh, let's say variable accordions equals. And we're going to use a variant on query selector. Query selector grabs the first matching element. Query selector all is going to grab all matching elements. And what we want to do here is we want to grab every element that has the accordion class. And then we're going to loop through them. Um, and to do that, we're going to use a for loop. And the way that works is you, you say for, open parentheses, uh, variable i equals zero. So we're just setting up a counter element here. Um, so i equals zero. Um, as long as i is less than um, the number of items that are in our accordion, we're going to keep going. And so the way this works is the, the first part before the first semicolon, you're setting up any variables or, or conditions that you need. In the second part, this is the thing you want to evaluate. As long as that is true, this loop is going to continue going. So as long as i is less than the number of items in the accordion, keep looping through. And then this last section is what you want to do after each loop. And in this case, we want to do i++. That's going to add 1 to this i variable. So it'll just keep counting up. And as soon as that number is higher than the number of items in, uh, in our list of accordion elements here, the loop start, stops running. Uh, and so what we want to do then is um, <clears throat> for each of our accordions, we want to say accordions i. Um, so accordions is going to be a, a, it's a node list, but it's a little bit like an array. It's just a list of items. Um, and i is how we grab the current item as we loop through all of those. Um, so we're going to say accordions i class list remove active. And that's going to remove the active class from every accordion. And then we can take our content and we can go ahead and add that active class to it. Um, and now with that in place, um, what we're effectively doing here is if our content area is already open, we're going to remove our class and quit. If it's not open, we're going to grab every accordion on the page. We're going to loop through and close them. And then we're going to open up the um, the content area we're actually trying to target. So let's reload the page and see how this works. So if I click, that area opens up. If I click this one, the first area closes, and so on and so forth. If I click it again, it just it closes. Nothing else happens. And uh, and that's basically it. Um, so now we have a working accordion. Um, it's been about ten minutes, and um, hopefully you have a. Uh, uh, enough confidence that you can actually start playing around with vanilla JavaScript. As you can see, it, it's really not terribly hard. Um, each of these scripts is maybe, I don't know, like a dozen lines or so, um, and it creates some really functional JavaScript with minimal effort. If this is something you'd like to learn more about, I encourage you to visit gomakethings.com. I have a bunch of really handy guides, a bunch of free articles that delves deeper into working with vanilla JavaScript. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me um, and ask away. I'm happy to help. Have a wonderful day, and uh, that's it for this tutorial. Cheers.